In this section, we will explore how to work with digital assets in the Agoric ecosystem. Understanding assets and issuers is crucial for developing robust smart contracts that handle value transfers securely and efficiently. Let's break down the key topics. In Agoric, assets are managed using three key concepts, brands, issuers, and mint. Brands represent the type or kind of asset, such as a specific token or NFT. Each brand uniquely identifies a category of asset. Issuers are responsible for creating or minting, as well as validating or issuing digital assets. They ensure that the assets conform to the defined rules and standards. Mints are used to create new instances of an asset. They are closely associated with issuers and are responsible for the initial creation of the asset. Creating and transferring digital assets is a fundamental capability in the Agoric ecosystem. Let's go through the steps involved. Use mints when you want to create new assets. This involves specifying the amount and the brand of the asset you wish to create. Once created, assets can be transferred between participants using issuers. Transfers are managed securely to ensure that assets are only moved according to the rules defined by the contract. Agoric uses a structured approach to manage and transfer assets, leveraging concepts such as purses, payments, and amount math. Purses are containers that hold digital assets. They are non-spendable and are used for storing assets securely. Payments are spendable representations of assets. They can be transferred between participants and used in transactions. The amount math library is used to perform precise calculations and comparisons with digital assets ensuring that transfers and balances are accurate and secure. Understanding and utilizing these concepts is essential for managing digital assets effectively within your smart contracts. By leveraging brands, issuers, mints, purses, payments, and amount math, you can create secure and efficient mechanisms for handling value transfers in the Agoric ecosystem. Next, we'll explore the process of creating and using offers in Agoric, which is central to interacting with smart contracts and executing transactions. To effectively manage digital assets in Agoric, it's crucial to understand the roles of brands, issuers, and mints. These components form the backbone of asset management in the Agoric ecosystem. Let's take a look at each of these concepts. A brand in Agoric represents a specific type or category of asset. It acts as a unique identifier that ensures assets of the same type are recognized and managed consistently. Brands help differentiate between different types of assets, such as various tokens or NFTs. And brands provide a level of trust and assurance that assets belong to the expected category and meet the defined standards. Issuers and mints are fundamental to the creation and management of digital assets. An issuer is responsible for creating new instances of an asset and validating those assets during transactions. It ensures that assets adhere to the rules defined by the contract. 
Issuers use mints to create new assets. And they also verify the authenticity of assets during transactions. Issuers also provide methods for issuing, transferring, and redeeming assets, ensuring that asset movements are secure and comply with the contract's rules. Mints are used to create new assets. They are closely associated with issuers and are responsible for the initial creation and issuance of the assets. Mints generate new assets based on the specific amount and brand. The minting process is secure, ensuring that only authorized entities can create new assets. By understanding the role of brands, issuers, and mints, you can effectively manage the life cycle of digital assets in your Agoric Smart contracts. Brands provide a clear identification of asset types. Issuers manage the creation and validation of assets. And mints securely generate new assets. Next, we'll explore how to create and transfer digital assets putting these concepts into practice to manage value transfers within the Agoric ecosystem. Now we will cover the practical aspects of creating and transferring digital assets within the Agoric ecosystem. Understanding these processes is essential for building functional and secure smart contracts. Let's break it down step by step. The creation of digital assets in Agoric involves using mints and issuers. Here's how you can create new assets. First, use the Make Issuer Kit function to create a new issuer kit, which includes the issuer, brand, and mint for the asset. Use the mint to create new units of the asset. The amount to be minted is specified and a payment representing the newly minted assets is returned. Once the assets are created, they need to be transferred between participants. Transfers are managed securely using issuers to ensure the integrity of the transaction. Use payments to represent the assets being transferred. Use issuer methods to transfer assets from one party to another securely. Let's look at a practical example that demonstrates the entire process of creating and transferring digital assets. We'll begin this three-step process by defining and minting the assets. In step two, we will create a payment for the minted assets. And finally, in step three, we'll transfer the payment to another participant's purse. By following these steps, you can create and transfer digital assets securely and efficiently within the Agoric platform. This practical approach ensures that assets are managed correctly and transactions are executed safely. Next, we'll dive into the concepts of purses, payments, and amount math, which are critical for constructing secure transactions in Agoric. To effectively manage digital assets in the Agoric ecosystem, it's important to understand how purses, payments, and amount math work together. These concepts are crucial for constructing secure and precise transactions. Let's explore each one. Purses are containers for holding digital assets. They are non-spendable, meaning you cannot directly transfer assets from one purse to another participant. Instead, purses are used for storing assets securely. You create a purse from an issuer, which defines the type of assets the purse can hold. 
You can deposit assets into a purse using the deposit method, ensuring that your assets are safely stored. Payments are the spendable representations of digital assets. They are used to transfer assets between participants. Payments are typically created during the minting process or by withdrawing assets from a purse. You can use payments to send assets to another participant or to interact with smart contracts. The amount math library is used to perform precise calculations and comparisons with digital assets. It ensures that all operations involving asset amounts are accurate and secure. Use amountmath.make to create amounts for a specific brand. Use amountmath methods like add, subtract, and is greater than or equal to to perform operations on amounts. By mastering purses, payments, and amount math, you can construct secure and precise transactions in your Agoric Smart Contract. These tools help to ensure that assets are managed correctly and that all operations involving digital assets are accurate and reliable. In the next section, we'll move on to the concept of creating and using offers, which is central to interacting with smart contracts and executing transactions in Agoric.